Today, you're gonna learn how to make a passion fruit fruit tea from syrup at home. Welcome to the special series on how to make fruit teas from syrup in the comfort of your own home. There are over a dozen popular restaurant quality grade bubble tea shop syrups on the market that you can purchase for home use. Each one is unique in flavor, viscosity, and sweetness, so just bear that in mind when making this recipe. Making a fruit tea from home is so quick and easy that once you get the basics down, you'll have fun experimenting with flavor combinations and measurements. I'll be sure to put all of the American conversions in the description below, along with a few of my other popular fruit tea recipe videos. So, let's get started. First, we wanna get our tea brewing. You want a strong brew base. I recommend a loose leaf, medium strength, jasmine green tea. If you don't have loose leaf, then two or more tea bags will work fine. You can experiment over time to figure out your preferred tea strength. You're going to put one tablespoon of the loose leaf green tea into 175 milliliters of 70 degrees Celsius water. Leave it to brew, covered, for seven minutes. While this is brewing, pour 21 milliliters of the passion fruit syrup in a 500 milliliter shaker. Add 14 milliliters of fructose. If you don't have fructose, I would recommend experimenting with different types of sugars, sweeteners, or honey. Once the tea is done brewing, carefully strain it into your shaker and stir well. Add ice all the way to the top. Then you'll put on the middle and the top section and shake well for about one minute. If you don't have a shaker, I would recommend putting it in a large glass and stirring really well for about two minutes. We know it's ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and the majority of the ice has melted. Add your topping of choice to your glass. Today, I am using my favorite, boba, AKA tapioca pearl. Strain the fruit tea into your glass and enjoy. Hold on to that middle section while pouring, just in case it might accidentally come off. Cheers. <sighs> One of my favorites. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and click that like button. And why not subscribe? I bring you a brand new video every week. Please leave a comment below and I'll see you again soon. Take care.